The 85th session of the Texas Legislature kicked off this week with all the pomp, circumstance, and tension you've come to expect in Texas politics. Opening day of the 85th tops this edition of your Texas Political Roundup. Inside the Capitol, legislators showed up with their families to be sworn in. Outside the Capitol, protests and prayer rallies. San Antonio Republican Joe Strauss was re-elected unanimously for his fifth term as House Speaker. As lawmakers face a tight state budget, in a political conversation dominated by social issues, Governor Greg Abbott called for unity during the next 140 days. We may be from different political parties, but we unite under one capital dome in a cause that's bigger than any one person and bigger than any one political party. State Rep Donna Dukes, an Austin Democrat, was sworn in for the 85th legislative session despite announcing in September that she would resign. Dukes is under investigation for allegations that she misused her staff and state funds. Travis County prosecutors will present its case against the state rep next week for possible indictment. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick continues to fire back at criticism of the so-called bathroom bill he's championed, saying opponents of the bill are concentrated in the media. Patrick said he wasn't worried about political backlash over the bill known as SB6, which would require people to use public restrooms that correspond with their biological sex. Patrick criticized media coverage of SB6, saying it overlooks polls that show broad support for the cause. The only people who oppose this bill, yeah. in your poll and my poll, yeah. are Anglo liberals, and many of them work in the media. What? The bill is expected to face an uphill battle in the legislature, where House Speaker Joe Strauss has said the issue is not an urgent concern of his. I'm Justin Dane. The Texas Tribune will be highlighting issues lawmakers are expected to address in the legislative session in our State of Mind series at texastribune.org.